Louisiana is moving into phase two of reopening from the coronavirus shutdown starting this Friday. Governor Edwards made that announcement this afternoon, but it does not apply to New Orleans, at least not yet. Erica Ferrando explains the new guidelines. Oh my God, being blessed. Thank God bless America. Chef Andrea is ready to seat up to another 100 patrons in his Metairie restaurant Friday as the state enters into phase two. We have a big, huge restaurant. We we'll spread a table around. As part of phase two, businesses and establishment that have been operating at 25% capacity will be able to expand capacity to 50%. That includes restaurants, churches, salons, gyms, museums, and casinos. Playgrounds can reopen. Other places that are opening for the first time at 50% capacity include tattoo parlors, spas, swimming pools, and bowling alleys like Colonial Bowling Lanes in Harahan. They call every day. When can you open for bowling? They've been preparing to reopen for the last two months. That's all we've been doing. We've been uh, sanitizing, renovating, putting up shields, you know, splash guards. Bars have stricter guidelines, but can open at 25% capacity. Businesses of different types are treated differently, and that's because of the risk involved. The governor says you still have to be six feet away from others and should wear a mask in public. We're not going to be fully back to normal uh, for some time. This does not apply to New Orleans, which will remain in phase one. Mayor Cantrell says the city is not ready to move into phase two with the rest of the state, but they may loosen some restrictions. We can loosen restrictions without moving into phase two. So that's what we're looking at right now. This means more people back to work, but Chef Andrea says he's struggling to get employees back that have been on unemployment. I said, no, no, we're going to wait, and that's one of the hardest things for us to do. But come Friday, he'll be ready to seat more people inside as the state takes another step in reopening. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.